Hey guys, welcome back to Genius Learning. All right, so here I have another example with arctangent, similar to the one that I did before. All right, so I labeled this one Y instead of FX, but they mean the same thing. So let's take the derivative, but before that, I see something I don't like. So I don't like square roots. I want them to have the exponential as a fraction. So let's rewrite this. So we're gonna have y is equal to eight arc tangent of x to the one half. Okay, so now I wanna start. And then also, what is the derivative of arc tan? Okay, so small review, arc tangent of u usually looks like one plus um, u squared, one over one plus u squared on the bottom. All right, and so the derivative of arctan, so I'm gonna write arctan of u, and in brackets, I'm gonna put this little dash, means derivative. We're gonna do the derivative of whatever's in here on top over one plus u squared. Okay, so just like the previous problem. So now applying applying that, let's take the derivative here, so y prime, or we could write dy dx, okay, is gonna be equal to, eight stays the same, and arc tangent of x raised to the one half. So if we wanna take the derivative of arc tangent, we have to take the derivative of whatever's inside here, which happens to be x to the one half. All right, so let's do that derivative separate and let's see what we get. Okay, so I'm gonna write this derivative first because that's the first thing we need to do. I have x to the one half, all right? And if I wanna take the derivative of that with a dash notation, okay, I'm gonna bring down the one half, x, then one half minus one on top. So one half minus one, Okay, we're gonna have one over two, and then we're gonna have x to the negative one half. Okay, so we add this up and we get negative one half on top. All right, so we can also rewrite this as one over two square root of x. Okay, so this notation or this notation here is fine for the derivative of x prime. Okay, so the derivative of arctangent is gonna be the derivative of this inside, which is this. I'm gonna write it in this form here. So I'm gonna say one over two x to the negative one half, that goes on top, right? And then on the bottom here, I just got one plus the u, which is x to the one half, and that value squared. Okay, so let's clean this up a little bit. So let's see what we got. Here in the bottom, this one half and this two are gonna cancel out. Okay, and then we can rewrite this here. So we got y prime, okay, is gonna equal eight. Let's just keep the eight there for now. This here is just one over 2 square root of x, right? And this bottom piece here is just 1 plus x because x to the 1 half raised to the 2, you got 2 over 2, which is just 1, okay? So now we have this. And before I run out of space, let me try to do this in one more step here. So 8 divided by this 2, right? We're going to have a 4 on top. And if I flip this up to the top, right? So let's just put a one over this. So we can have this fraction over this fraction. So now if I flip this up, right? The one on the bottom is gonna go on the top. And this that was on the top is gonna go on the bottom. And now I don't need this term because I just flipped it up. And finally, our y prime, so our derivative, 
is equal to 4. On the top, we have a square root of x down here, and then we have 1 plus x left over. And this is our derivative. All right.